All right, what up, hoes? I'm Master Flex. You already know. So, uh, I guess I'm going to review the fucking Irrelevant Squad. I just came back from, like, the first screening um, of opening day. And, you know, not to knock the movie, like, immediately. It's not a bad movie at all. It's it's not it's not horrible. It's just fucking garbage. Okay? Movie is fucking trash. There's something... It, uh, Warner Brothers just needs to give, like, the DC rights to Marvel. Like, just... Just, just, just hand it over. Just, just hand it over. I mean, you guys did good with Man of Steel, and then I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what the fuck happened. Just, it, it, like, just the DC train just derailed after Man of Steel... And starting with the fucking Batman v. Dark shit fucking movie. That shit was fucking horrible. Now you got fucking Irrelevant Squad. And then... The Joker... And the guy who played him... Who was his name? Jared... Jared Irrelevito. <laughs> Might as well be his real fucking name. Because guess what? He was fucking irrelevant. All fucking movie. What a fucking waste of a Joker. Those, those people saying that he, like, beats fucking, uh, what's that faggot, fucking Brokeback faggot's name, whatever, that played the fucking original Joker, whatever. That faggot that, like, OD'd on fucking gay dog shit, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I, I can't, I can't, I can't remember his fucking name right now. But anyways, he was the best Joker, hands down. This shit ain't even, like, a contest, it ain't even close. The movie wasn't all that fucking good. It wasn't. Will Smith was like the fucking star of the show. Oh, cool story, bro. Like, I could shoot everything magically. That's that's a cool story. It, it, and it probably wouldn't be so bad with the exception of the fact that, like, the whole purpose of the creation of the this team is through one of the people. I'm like, I'm trying not to spoil it here. And then one of the people ends up being the fucking bad guy that they fight against. Which was fucking stupid. This, this movie could have been prevented if the idea was never formed. That's basically what I'm saying. Everything that happened, it happened because the Suicide Squad was fucking created. It's not like the Suicide Squad was created to prevent something. The creation of the Suicide Squad created the whole conflict in the movie. So therefore, the whole movie was fucking pointless. <laughs> It's fucking stupid. Like, the only thing that they really tried to do, like, they connected the fucking, uh, the Justice League movies with this a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you can you figure that out at the end. In the, in the ending, ending credits and shit. And Batman is in this movie a little, a little bit. He's not, like, you know. Uh, he's in the beginning parts of the movie. So he's there. Um. That's about it, man. Like, half, half these fucking characters were fucking irrelevant. They got, like, no fucking screen time. That fucking magical dude that fucking, you know, lights fire up people's asses or whatever. The little pyro wannabe dude. Like, he was irrelevant all movie. And then, like, he only becomes re irrelevant in, like, the last fucking... And then the boss fight. Cool story, bro. Like, he was Mr. Like, oh, I got fire powers, but I'm Mr. Pacifist over here. <laughs> Like, what? Like, what's his purpose? You know what I'm saying? Like, a chino with a fucking conscience, but he got a skull tattooed. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's fucking lame. And then, I don't even know what's the point of Harley Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has, like, no skills whatsoever. Like, everybody else in that fucking Suicide Squad has some kind of, like, actual power and or skill. All right? Deadshot, obviously, he could... He never misses, right? And then there's a crocodile motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? The pyro dude. Everybody has some sort of fucking power. What the fucking power she is? She's like, she... They just put her in there to have, like, a female figure to look at. And, like, sell the movie, I guess. Because otherwise... Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Just like Jared Irrelevito. <laughs> and the Joker. Fucking irrelevant for life. For life. Like, he's, he had actually no purpose to being in that movie whatsoever. It was, like, literally no purpose for the Joker. Literally. Waste of fucking time.
waste of fucking time. Don't fucking see this movie. And I like DC. I, I prefer DC movies. Well, at least I fucking did with fucking Man of Steel. And then this is. And they got they got they got some fucking goo monsters and shit. Like people to turn into like goo. Like no faces. They kind of look like the fucking clickers from fucking uh um the irrelevant of us. You know what I'm saying? The Last of Uncharted, whatever. The Last of Us, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That game. That's what the fucking enemy. Random people turn into clickers, basically in this movie. That, that's basically. And then there's like a witch with magic power. That's a cool story, bro. Just just disappointed. If they had like a, a real villain, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if the villain, like I said earlier, wasn't like one of the fucking Suicide Squad, like the whole. The person who's supposed to run the Suicide Squad ends up being the reason for the conflict of this movie. It was just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. It's like... Who the f... Whatever. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you could watch it for free, fucking watch it for free. You know, if you're gonna go with a group of friends, eh, you know, it's like, uh... I guess it's a decent summer flick. Not a really good fucking, like, comic book movie. So, there's that. And then I guess we got the Justice League to look forward to, I guess. Maybe. So we could watch, like, you know, them butcher that movie now. Although, that trailer does look dope. It did look dope. But so did the Batman vs. Superman trailer. That looked fucking dope when it first came out. And then we saw the train wreck. That was the fucking real movie. So, there's that. Just. The DC is just the fucking. As far as movies goes and Warner Brothers. Like, they're, they're just like the fucking sinking. The, they're just like the fucking Titanic. It's the, it's a sunken ship. Just fucking bail and sell your rights. Do something. Give it to somebody else. I don't know. Maybe fucking. I don't fuck. Give that shit to Nickelodeon or Disney or whatever. Doesn't Disney own Marvel? Yeah, I guess. My, give the DC rights to fucking Marvel. Fuck it. YOLO. I want to see some good fucking DC movies other than fucking Man of Steel. What a fucking joke. That's my fucking review. Peace. Mm.